Artzuka! Hey, I'm Jeremy. Let's Artzuka. <laughs> I never throw anything out. And take a look at this. It's a broken wind-up toy. Three of his legs are broken, but watch this. See, it works. See how the leg moves? When I saw this, I thought to myself, what other things could I use this for? Well, then I turned it this way and I thought, it could be a mouth of a whole different creature. Something with a big jaw, like a... Like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm gonna make a whole new toy out of this. I've got a bit of craft foam that I cut out, and I think it looks like a dinosaur head. And with more, I've made the bottom of his mouth. And just like that, I've got a dinosaur head. And now I can add some features. I'll start off with his teeth. Hmm. I find it's a lot easier to do all the teeth on one piece instead of individual teeth. And I think these will work great. I flip the head around and tape them into place. Two little white dots. I've got the eyes. Let's glue those into place first. So we can see better, I'll take my black marker and finish the eyes off. I think he needs a sense of smell because dinosaurs have amazing senses of smell. Now for the broken toy. I'm attaching a popsicle stick to its leg. That way I'll have somewhere to stick my dinosaur head. Wrap it around the leg just like this. I can take the top of my dinosaur head and attach it to the leg. I'll turn it over like that, and then again, use a little bit of tape. When you wind him up, the toy dog goes to work. And the head moves. To put the rest of the mouth in place, I'll just tape the bottom of the jaw onto the part of the dog that isn't moving. That looks like a pretty good place. Take a little bit of tape. Put it on there like that. And my head is complete. Now I'm ready for the body, and I think this cardboard tube will work perfectly. I've cut out more craft foam into a shape that I think looks like a dinosaur belly. Looks like he ate a big lunch today. To get this belly onto the tube, I'll use some glue and put it right down the center. Then I press it onto the tube. And to help hold it in place while it dries, I'll just put a rubber band over the top. I've also used some craft foam to cut out some arms, a leg, and a tail. I think the tail will look really great under there. And the leg can go right on top like that. And then these two arms, I can put one here and one underneath. Then once I've put the head in place and everything is taped or glued, we have a dino toy. We've taken a broken little toy doggy and turned it into a toy dinosaur. Thanks for saving me, Jeremy. My pleasure, little doggy. Or should I say dinosaur? Why throw out your old toys when you can artzooka them? I made a dinosaur by reusing a broken toy. 
Start by cutting the shape of a dino's head out of craft foam. I use two pieces, one for the top of the head and one for the jaw. Craft foam makes great teeth and eyes too. Then tape a small stick onto the dog's leg and tape the top of the dino's head onto the stick. The dino's jaw is taped onto the part of the dog that doesn't move when you wind it up. I cut out more craft foam to make the dino's body and attached it to a cardboard tube. Cut out more craft foam for the tail, legs, and arms. Attach the dino head to the cardboard tube and you've got yourself a whole new toy. And don't worry if you missed any of this. It's all on our website at artzooka.com. Art? Isn't this a great picture? I like it because the lines are simple and I like the curves and the points. Like the pointy beak, and the pointy legs, and the wings and the tail. It's inspired me to make a whole new work of art. Let's make a print. I'll need some plastic wrap to put over the picture. Lay it right down over top like this, and then tape it into place. got a bunch of extra plastic hanging over the side, and that's okay. All I need to do is flip the picture over and fold it onto the back of the cardboard. Then just use some tape. When we're taping this, we want to make sure that it's pulled really tight over the picture. I've put this picture on cardboard to make it sturdier. And now that I have all the plastic in place, we're ready to paint. This is really fun. You can paint right over top of the picture. The lines are already there. I'm not trying to make this look exactly like the picture. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using the lines as a guide as I add color. You could use different colors or the same colors that are here. The best part about this is that anything goes. Now I'll paint the outline of the bird using some of the lines that are already there as a guide. The trick is to do it fairly quickly so that the paint doesn't dry. Give it a nice dark eye right there. I'm gonna finish off the bird with some yellow paint. Now that I have all my paint in place, I grab a piece of paper then lay it over top. And now with my hands or with a wooden spoon, just press down onto the picture. Rub in all the parts that you've painted. And now watch this. I peel it off. Hey, and we've got ourselves a mirror image. The great thing about this is I can change it if I don't like what I did the first time, or even if I do. You can wipe this clean and start all over again, or when it's dry, add more wet paint to the plastic. It looks different every time. You can use any picture that you like. Here I've used an elephant and I've added different colors and details. 
I've made three different prints using the same elephant picture. That's the great thing about prints. You can make as many as you want and each one is an original work of art. It's super easy to make a print from your favorite picture. I chose this one because I like the shapes and lines. Glue or tape your picture onto cardboard to make it sturdy and then wrap it with plastic wrap. Now you can paint on the plastic. I like to use the picture to inspire me, but I don't make it perfect. Just add color where you like. And do it quickly so the paint doesn't dry. Press a piece of paper on top of the wet paint and press down with your hands, or even use a wooden spoon. Then peel off the paper and you have a whole new painting. That's why prints are great. You can keep making more and they're all different. For more great ideas like this, check out artzooka.com. Sam, you're on. A plastic tool, a paint roller. I've got an idea. It's an airplane! It's all in how you look at it. I love to collect little things like these. They're mini treasures. Take a look at this tiny canoe. Imagine how cool the world would be if everything was this size. We can make a whole little world inside this plastic cup. It's all in how you look at it. Let's artzooka. I'm gonna start off using an empty cup. If we're gonna make a little world inside a cup that's upside down, we'll need to make a lid or a base of some kind. So, Let's use a piece of this recycled plastic packaging. That'll work. I'm gonna choose this because it's see-through. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace around the lid of the cup like that. And then when you're finished, you wanna carefully cut that circle out. And we'll have something that looks like this. Here's a tip. 
If you cut it too small, it won't work as a lid. Perfect. And now we're ready to start creating the world. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some modeling clay just to make a little hill. So I can place this right down on top of my lid and use my fingers to work it in. If I use some blue, I can create a river. Or maybe a lake or a pond. It's starting to take shape. To make it look a little more earthy, you can use some of these pebbles. I found these at a beach, really tiny pebbles. I'm gonna pour them out onto the table, and then, as I turn my little world around, gently press them into the clay. And you can see, just by putting a rim all the way around, kind of gives it a little bit of a beach look. That looks great. Now I'm gonna add some bigger rocks. These bigger rocks are actually little tiny pebbles, but in here, they're gonna look like boulders. They start off tiny in your hands, but then magically, they turn into these huge rocks. Once you're happy with that, you can start adding more details. I think a tree would be perfect. Here's a little trick. For making a tree, you can take some pipe cleaner and a pencil, and wrap the pipe cleaner around the pencil, just like this. You don't want to do it too tightly, because we want to be able to slide it off the pencil like that. And just by pressing it down, I've created a little evergreen tree. I'm just going to carefully cut off the tip. I can stick that right in there. So add all the details that you want, and then when you're finished, you might come up with something like this. Remember that canoe I found earlier? This old toy works perfectly in my new little world. You can arrange these things any way you like, and when you're happy with the way it looks, just add the cup. I'll slide it over top and tape it into place. Now check this out, I made a few earlier. I've got a little undersea water world. You can see I used a little shell for that. And this one here is up in the sky. And I just took a little cotton ball, tore it up, and used that for clouds. And then I added a hot air balloon toy that I found. And for this one, I used a circuit board for the base and added a rocket ship toy and some marbles for planets. Now this is the cool thing, they're four completely different worlds. But, I can stack them on top of one another to create one full world. We started off with a cup full of stuff, and we made a whole universe just by looking at it a bit differently. That's the great thing about art. It's all in how you look at it. To make your own world in a cup, you need a cup. Then, take a piece of plastic and cut it in a circle. I used some plastic packaging and traced around the top of the cup. Be sure to cut it big enough. Add some molding clay and press pebbles onto the side to make a rocky beach. Wrap a pipe cleaner around a pencil, pull it off and shape it a bit to make a tree. A forest of trees and a toy like this canoe make your world complete. You can make a universe in these cups. Underwater, on land, in the air, and in space. Reusing things you've collected. I'd love to see a picture of the world you make. Send it to me at artzuka.com. And now time for an Artzuka safety message. Remember, when looking through a telescope, be sure you're looking through the right end. Challenge. 
For my Art Zooka Recycle Challenge, I challenged myself to make something out of a plastic bottle, a table tennis ball, and a plastic cup. I put them in a movie starring Paper Bag. Come on, and see what I made. I also put something else in my movie, a tea bag. Let's see if you can spot it. Now, sit back and enjoy Cinema Art Zooka. Here's the plastic bottle. Here's the plastic cup. And here's the table tennis ball. Guess what it's going to be? Yes, it's a submarine. Now let's see it in a movie. Like the movie? I made a submarine out of a table tennis ball, a plastic bottle, and a plastic cup. Hey, did you spot the tea bag? Take another look at how I used it. I challenge you to make something out of a plastic bottle, a plastic cup, and a table tennis ball. And when you do, take a picture and email it to me at the Artzuka website, artzuka.com. What will you Artzuka today?